Today in this lecture we are going to discuss the effect of nervous system to increase the arterial pressure during exercise. Basically we are going to discuss the role of nervous system uh, to maintain or to increase the arterial pressure during exercise. Now our today's lecture our today's lecture is linked with our previous lecture our last lecture in which we discussed the effect of maintenance of arterial pressure for increasing the cardiac output. Now during exercise during exercise there is basically relaxation of the arterioles the blood vessels which supply blood to the muscles they get relaxed during exercise so that there is more blood com uh, coming to the muscles but at the same time but at the same time when the total peripheral resistance is decreasing due to relaxation of the arterioles the arterial pressure is not falling rather the arterial pressure is increasing now how the nervous system plays its role in increasing the arterial pressure during exercise that's the topic of our discussion now we must summarize our last lecture in which we discussed that when we did an experiment we took an experimental animal and we injected dinitrophenol in that experimental animal and we observed that when the when this dinitrophenol was injected into the body of the experimental animal and the arterial pressure was maintained when the arterial pressure was maintained we observed that the cardiac output increased three to four times but when the same dinitrophenol was injected into the body of experimental animal and the, and the arterial pressure was not maintained rather the arterial the nervous system the nervous reflexes which maintains this arterial pressure here we have the arterial pressure here we have the cardiac output so when we blocked the nervous system which maintains the arterial pressure the arterial pressure fell down so due to falling down of the arterial pressure even with the injection of dinitrophenol the cardiac output could not rise as much as it rose as it rose with normal arterial pressure so the point was the point was that maintenance of arterial pressure at normal level is important to increase the cardiac output when the a metabolism of the body is increased or the tissues or the cells is increased and which causes increased venous return now maintenance of the arterial pressure is important it should be maintained and it should not fall but there is a role of nervous system there is role of nervous system to maintain this arterial pressure now here in our today's lecture we see we are going to observe the changes in exercise and this is not in an experimental animal rather in the human body during exercise what happens in the exercise is that the metabolism of the muscles metabolism of the muscles increases the requirement for oxygen and other nutrients in the muscles increases So the supply of blood to the muscles also increases and one of the factor which will increase the supply is dilation of these blood vessels or the arterioles relaxations of the arteriole so he, here we have the heart right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle here the aorta is coming it is bringing the blood to the body and we have shown one arteriole that is supplying mus uh, blood to the a single muscle this is for an example so when the arterioles dilate when the arterioles dilate it definitely leads to fall in the total peripheral resistance it leads to fall in total peripheral resistance we know that the cardiac output is basically a combination of arterial pressure by total peripheral resistance 
कार्डिक आउटपुट इज बेसिकली इक्वल टू आर्टीरियल प्रेशर बाय टोटल पेरिफरल रेजिस्टेंस सो द आर्टीरियल प्रेशर एंड टोटल पेरिफरल रेजिस्टेंस एंड कार्डिक आउटपुट ऑल ऑफ देम आर लिंक टू दी चैदर डिस्टर्बेंस ऑफ एनी वन ऑफ दीज विल डेफिनेटली ब्रिंग सम चेंजेस इन द अदर टू फैक्टर्स सो in exercise due to secretion or due to increased demand there is relaxation of the arterioles and due to relaxation of the arterioles there is a fall in the total peripheral resistance here we are doing exercise and here we have plotted the total peripheral resistance and we see that the total peripheral resistance has fallen down with the exercise but normally if the blood vessels dilate and the total peripheral resistance fall the arterial pressure should also fall the arterial pressure should also fall but it does not fall in exercise because there is role of the nervous system there is no role of nervous system to maintain and rather increase the arterial pressure how the nervous system increases the arterial pressure and maintains the arterial pressure basically signals from the brain signals from the brain goes through the autonomic nerves to different blood vessels in heart this is for example a brain here we have the spinal cord from the some center in the brain signals goes to the blood vessels and signals also goes to the heart which basically increases the heart rate and increase the contractility increase the contractility of the heart and simultaneously it also increase the constriction of the veins the large veins which is bringing these large veins which are bringing blood back to the heart they gets constricted they are constricted so the nervous system plays its role by activating the autonomic nervous system which in turn increase the heart rate increase the contractility of the heart and also increase the constriction of the large veins and with due to the constriction of the large veins blood is pushed toward the heart so by this combination of these three factors and some other factors the arterial pressure the arterial pressure during exercise increases rather than decreasing so the total peripheral resistance may have decreased due to the dilatation of the arterioles but the arterial pressure will not fall rather it will slightly increase which will definitely increase the cardiac output because cardiac output is directly proportional to the arterial pressure so the point to prove is basically we are discussing this chapter of cardiac output venous return and their regulation so we are discussing different uh, different systems which play their role in the cardiac output and venous re return we have discussed some of the topic and now basically the, the the point to prove here is that the nervous system plays very important role in maintenance of arterial pressure in the last lecture we we discussed that due to maintenance of arterial pressure due to maintenance of the arterial pressure there was an increase in the cardiac output when dinitrophenol was injected and now we see that during exercise when there is to decrease in the total peripheral resistance due to the relaxation of the arterioles that supply the muscles there is maintenance and rather increase in the arterial pressure by the nervous system with the help of increase in heart rate with the help of increase in the contractility of the heart and with the help of in increased constriction of the large veins all of these factors contribute in maintaining the arterial pressure and rather increasing the arterial pressure from the normal level and helping to improve the cardiac output and and by improving the cardiac output during exercise more blood will come to the muscles and the the muscles will be able to uh, extract more oxygen more nutrients from the uh, 
uh, blood and therefore it will supply more energy to the body and the person will be able to exercise so that's all about the effect of nervous system to increase or the role of nervous system to increase the arterial pressure during exercise thanks a lot for watching the video